Okay, so now I'm going to start looking at solving equations. And the key thing for me in solving equations is there are more than one way of doing it. And some of the things that you're shown over time isn't actually true. But the key thing for me is you've got bits involving x's and you've got numbers on their own. And what we want to try and do is we want to try and get all the bits involving x's onto one side and all the numbers on the other. And then I can scale it down to work out what one x is worth. So that's what we're trying to do. So I've got 5x plus 7 equals 2x plus 15. Now, I'm going to talk about this as in moving things over the equals, which, you know, is a little bit untidy, but it kind of works. So, when I move something across the equals, the sign attached to it changes. So, as you can see, I've highlighted that I want to move the plus 7, and I want to move it over to the other side, so I get the 15 and the 7 on one side. And I've got the 2x, and I want to move it over with the 5. The key thing is, as I move things, the bit that hasn't moved has to stay first. Now, this was a plus 2x. So when I move it over, it has to swap sign, and I get a minus 2x. The 15 hasn't moved. It's a plus 15, but I don't need the plus when it's on its own because plus 15 is 15. But when I move a plus 7, because it's going over, it becomes a minus. So it becomes minus 7. Now I can simplify. 5x take away 2x is 3x. And 15 take away 7 is 8. Now the bit I want to move is the 3. At the moment, it's 3 times x. So when I move it over, I'm going to get divide by 3. So the 8 hasn't moved. I'm dividing it by 3. So I have got a fraction of 8 thirds. But I know that 3 fits into 8 twice. And that's 2 3's are 6. So I've got 2 left over to get to 8, so I could write my answer as 2 and 2 thirds. There you go.